Happy Cinco de Drinco! That time of year again, the 5th of May. So it's time to celebrate the only way we know how. Mexico Mexico Pavilion. Mexico Pavilion. So, we're gonna go have some fun. Remember, she's vegan, I'm not. Let's go get some tequila. This is very quickly turning into how else do you celebrate Cinco de Mayo, other places in the Mexico Pavilion. I gotta say, May the 4th and now Cinco de Drinco, the queues have been higher than expected. Yes, I'm wearing ears, don't make it a thing. I gotta celebrate any way I thing. can. If I can't have La Cava, I'm gonna wear ears. It's a thing. It's not gonna be a regular thing. Off to get a margarita. Somewhere not here. Cinco de Mayo, this isn't really anything to do with tequila or margaritas or anything Cinco de Mayo related, but... Cinco de Drinco. Cinco de Drinco. Cheers. Now when searching for things to drink, uh, Mexico themed on World Showcase, you're gonna do a little bit of digging. Nothing in Germany, obviously, but we found something that has just as much kick, if not more, than a donkey. And that would be hair shops. Hair brandy, technically, but we call it hair shops. Ooh. It's really good. It burns so good. Oh, it's a chocolate cream? Yeah, yeah, it's creamy, creamy. Nice little secret, hidden away in one of This will start today, right? I think this is like the pregame for the pregame. Four to five plus. So, Italy definitely knows the spirit of Cinco de Mayo because they have the uh, Italian margarita, their style. So, limoncello and tequila, like the perfect mix. The only thing that doesn't jam is the price. Patina Group, your prices are ridiculous. That's why there's no line at your booth today. Get it together and pay your employees. That's right, I said it. Ooh. It drinks like a lemonade margarita and I love it. I just wish it came in a bigger glass and a cheaper price. But it'll do. Four and a half out of five plots. Whole trip around the world just to find out that the only place to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is Mexico. We failed. We got one. We got one, we tried. And all the lines around Mexico have just been effing crazy. So thankfully we have a reservation at La Hacienda, so we're not gonna let you down on Cinco de Mayo. We're still going to do something. Just understand that you come for Cinco de Mayo, come with patience. Yes. It's a busy day. And check out our last Cinco de Mayo video where we actually went to Frontera. They have a live band. That was really fun too. You heard the girl. We modified the guacamole here so that Bear could eat it. It usually comes with mango on top of it. Here's with the chips. Now the only vegan option they have is like a chile rellano. And if you want a good chile rellano, go to Rosa Mexicano. We'll have a link for that in our um, description somewhere around here. Go check out that video. That is the place where you need to go. We're just gonna get chips and guac here and then we're gonna move on to a better place to eat. So cheers to guac. Well, somebody went, a little, somebody went a little hard on the jalapeno with that. That is like a 7 out of 10 on the heat scale. I don't think I'm going to take any more bites of that. That is burning my mouth significantly. 
I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five guacamoles. I am ready to go to Coronado. They say there are no fails, only great opportunities. Somebody much smarter than me said that, so I'm gonna opportune this in my mouth. I'm gonna find something else to do. Wow. Okay. That was sneaky. That was actually quite spicy. For like one of the middle table guacamole, that is much hotter than I was expecting. I would give it like um, three and a half. And a two. Ooh. Mm. That's my diet. The four and a half out of ten on the heat scale. Surprising. Good heat, not like crazy heat, but like very front of the mouth. Easy in the back of the throat. It's okay to have while we've had worse other places, but it it will do. It will do donkey. I give it 3.25 out of 5 claws. I'd like to see more heat as an option, not a base set. This is the San Angel Margarita. Usually they give it to you with the shaker, but he just poured the whole shaker into a glass. So cheers. It's a little bit of a spice. Uh, I don't know. I liked it better at San Angel. I'm, I'm not into this one. This is a little too lime for me. I'm gonna give it like a two out of five marks. Not my favorite. When you come to Disney with no plan, even when you come with a plan, sometimes it requires a little bit of rolling with the punches. Crowds are hard to predict. Weather is hard to predict. This is Florida. So you do what you can with what you got. And always leave with the key. So we're the only time you'll ever hear me say that. Even though we did start in Canada today. You didn't see that, but we started in Canada today. Don't even. Did we not start in Canada today? Yeah, we did. Okay. She's like somewhere towards like fifth or sixth. There's one for a classic margarita. It's not bad. It feels a bit tame for a margarita. I'm getting. I'm getting American made. I would give it two and a half out of five. I got the cucumber, mainly because the margarita I wanted had mango in it. They hide mango and passion fruit puree a lot, which I'm finding out around Disney properties that when they say passion fruit puree, it means passion fruit and other fruits, and the mango is kind of dangerous to me. I got a cucumber with the tahini rim, mmm, and mezcal. Both cool and refreshing and spicy at the same time. I like it. 3.75 of the five plus. So this beautiful sorbet that we got that is vegan here. I forgot what he said it was called. It like one more something. I'm sure it'll be in the description, but it's very nice and light and almost tastes like papaya. I'm into it. I'll give it like a four out of five, but I'm still ready to go to a better place to eat. If it's one thing you can always convince me to try, it's sorbets of strange fruits I've never heard of before because I am all about that life. Ooh, I like that. What do you call it like a guama, guama matillo? Guama with something. Delicious. You find this somewhere in a store, you need to tell me I want this. I'm going to keep you stocked in the house. 4.75 out of 5 plus. this tofu bowl. I feel like second to Satuli is this tofu. And 
three bridges. Um, some avocado, some beautiful tofu, some sriracha sauce. Let's go for it. I put pineapple in this too. I like you're super into like a Polynesian experience, or like a super like sweet experience. This is good. Get it without the pineapple, and it's still good. I'm here for it. I'm gonna give it like a 3.75 out of five. Tofu's. It's it's got potential, and you can season and flavor it however you want. vegan taco with the impossible meats. We have the vegan cheese, which I'm gonna throw on here. Um, and I'm gonna put a little um, onion, because that's, that's the way. Cheers. The impossible is charred perfectly. Everything in here is amazing. This is a five out of five. It is a princess city's item you need to get the tacos anytime you come to Three Bridges. They're fire. I think it's like the fourth time that we've gotten them. And they're amazing every time. So consistently good. Must get. These little impossible tacos are Three Bridges' best kept secret. You're not going to find impossible tacos anywhere in this good on private. I think anything that ever came close was the ones that you can get at um, Tiffin's Animal Kingdom. But with that, this is now King. The key is here. They season the impossible. They just, they're gonna just throw in plant based crumbles and tacos. I've forgotten about them. They actually season these the way that you expect tacos to be seasoned. It's almost like um, steak seasoning, I like generic taco seasoning. And it makes it like a really savory plant based taco. Combine with little fixings, you'll never eat tacos as good as Walt Disney World. Five out of five claws, it's on the Mary Necessities list. If you just want a lighter taco, that is your jam. I would take those over the pork carnitas tacos that have on the menu. When I tell you that when you come to Disney or any restaurant, you need to make them aware of your allergies. Uh, I got the, the tuna poke bowl, which uh, nowhere on the menu has listed that it has mango in it, but apparently there's mango in somewhere in the sauce. But I had to modify it so that I could eat this. Otherwise, I would be having a really miserable time right now. Uh, I don't usually do lime on my tuna, but you know what? It's here. I'm going to use it. I'm going to give it a home. You got nice big chunks of tuna. They didn't skimp. There's tons of it in here. You got some crispies, the rice, avocado, and best of all, pineapple. Because pineapple goes in everything, and I will die on that hill. I'm not usually a citrus person, but the citrus from the tuna with the pineapple, it sort of kicks. I will ride for this dish. Like across this three ridges on a tricycle. Because bears on tricycles. For some reason it's funny. But I like this. Four out of five claws, I will definitely be full of energy. That's been a fifth of May. We hope you enjoyed Cinco de Drinco. We tried to do it at Epcot, but we ended up at Coronado. Last year we did um, Disney Springs, and I feel like that was a little bit more successful than this, but we still had a good time either way. We had an adventure. You came along yeah. with us. We like videos like this. Sometimes things don't work as you plan, but sure. again, you roll with the punches. It's Disney. You yeah. can have fun anywhere. I don't know what you guys think. Did you have fun with us today? Let us know in the comments below. If there's anything else to see us do, of course, that will always be a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. It's super windy. But be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, I don't know, Bear will control the wind in a way to where it'll blow me away. Did she just call me an X-Man? <laughs> you heard the girl.